Hey friends, it's me, Gachi Gorilla from the hit Mangan Bee. And Roboco, I've come to kindly inform everyone at the request of none. And you that the Weep Club forgot to talk about Kanaja Mokanaja the seasonal they were covering. Next weekly they will talk about two episodes instead of one. Sorry about that everyone. I hope you all have a good day night. Or evening, I love you all very much. Yes, even Don Chettle, in case you're watching this despite what you've done to me. Are you ready? Nine. We don't have to do it again yet. You right. have to say seven Twelve. so I can say Ocho Craft Store. Oh, 15. I haven't gotten to do it in month. Seven. Ocho. Nine. Okay, he said nine already. Twelve. That's why I got excited. I wanted to do Ocho again. Fifteen. Oh, so you wanted Nimanji to be gone. I see. Just No, you could have been gone. Remember. Oh, yeah, I knew it. This see? recording's not happening. See you tomorrow, hey, Crafts. All right. Oh, damn. <laughs> Well, all hey right, guys, so anyway. welcome to the uh, Weeb Club. Uh, welcome to another seasonal episode of the Weeaboo Club. No, it's not a seasonal. It's not a seasonal. Uh, it is I, what the what. Today we're talking about Magia Record. Um, what were we covering back then? Hold on. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, for Magia Record, I think that was also yesterday. And oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to guess Cautious Hero. Uh, sure. And uh, there should be one more show. The girl with the crows had nice that, armpits. Uh, uh, what um, was the other one? Oh my god, I can't hero remember. is boring. Um, um, I'm looking. Hold on, hold on. Uh, was it not Otome game? Season? Was it Otome game? It was Otome. Otome. Oh wait, no, no, no. Is... Tower of God was no, uh, no, 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 no. no. I'm, uh, I'm in the wrong season. Uh, it, uh the season with Maji record was uh, MHA. Oh uh, yeah. Um, uh, I don't got know what these other shows are. Oh, froppy, froppy. Asteroid and Plunderer. Uh, Koizuna what Asteroid. a Koizuna dog Asteroid. shit season. Cute ladies. Wait, what a terrible fucking season. What the heck? That's so MHA, rude. Koizuna Asteroid, Maji Record, and Plunderer. There's like only one good show there. Two good and shows like, and two bad, two yeah. bad ones. Our next season was so much better because it was Otome game yesterday. Um, no, Vindy, Otome game sucks. Tower of God the and... ending was different. ReZero. Was... No. no. Um, I think it was the father-daughter manga, Kakushi Goto. Oh, were we not? Dis- I swear we were talking... Play. Oh, Tower of God. It was Kakushi Goto High School. Not, yeah, you're, no, Tower of God. You're right. I, I mixed up Tower of God and God High School. I'm looking forward to the Ninmanji comment from our biggest fan, Ninmanji, on this episode. <laughs> I want people to tell us in the future... What or tell us in the comments of this one, what season of the Weeb Club seasonals was your favorite? What shows were we watching that you guys liked the most? You're gonna have to subject them to watch going back to watch. No, only the ones who have seen it and remember. Only our day ones, our ride or dies. Uh, You know we're gonna get some um, fucking new fans trying to do that shit. Anyway, we're recording this a bit late. Uh, Scheduling issues a lot meant it, so we had to push it back, and then um, uh, mistakes were made, so none can't be here um mistakes so. like making the weave club so anyway uh oh yes but uh comments um <laughs> yes no drip no sauce no passion no comedy no male gaze no function relationships no shonen before dragon ball no romance no cute girls no gatekeeping no good intentions no sequels no paragons so it sucks that he's not here because i wanted to ask you guys what you all thought of the of that ewb like how for because i think it was our chillest WWE today. Whoa! I actually did watch it. Um, yeah, I liked Craftsworth it. loves me. Yeah, same. I feel the exact same way as Craftsworth did, uh, and I definitely <laughs> have the same status uh, of watch. Uh, Craftsworth. Does. Yeah, I bet you do, dude. Thank you. I'm glad. It's toxic. Me. If you, because like the thing about it was like when I was recording that, I expected toxicity to happen, but aside from like two or three jabs, I was just kind of like, man, this really is a Beatrice video. This really is just this. What do you think, Nun? 
and none talked like a lot a lot of the audio is just none talking yeah and i definitely think part of it is because none has been more uh like none has watched more of b's content than all of us combined have i think in the last like year or so well, because she, uh, you know, none actually watches like the new shit and i like that's what i I'm, mean I'm right allergic. like <laughs> yeah I, no I, yeah i fell off uh the b stuff uh you know well before she changed her name to b so uh if i want to watch mediocre beatrice content i'd only watch the ones from a year ago not 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 recently hello don't go silent on me gotta be gotta just be like the comments toxic what do you want me to say i haven't seen the ewb yeah yeah, i know because you're racist you're so racist and i hate it nanaji has nothing to do with this uh, Stop looking up to Yohane. Angry face. Oh, you gotta read the other. You, you gotta read the other ones when you and the uh, prize of that it. one. Uh, I, I mean, if she's sitting on my face, and I want to look up at her. We need Nimaji back. I don't want to do Sad the three face. person weave club anymore. I'm quitting. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bring Nimaji back. What thinks she's allowed to act like this when that's not here? What sounds so either at peace or tired that it seems like he's pillow talking by Twill? whatever i mean i was fucking exhausted and also someone next door to me was like you gotta be quiet you're so loud when you record your (laughs) podcast sad here's Um, another one actually by stefan weirdy by beatrice's logic we should only admire jesus because he has no flaws sounds very weird for someone who's who's (laughs) anti-religion Uh, and I like, like the one that's, uh, I look up to Kanye West and Goku. Is that a fucking... Christina geez. Walker, yeah. Okay, good. I was, Respectable. If it was, like, if it was a I look up killer to both comment, of I would hate it. But you know what? Perfect I like that comment. Perfect <laughs> for talking about it. Honestly, Kanye West is the Goku of our time. He's the Goku of, like, yeah. you know, all he's about times, a th- he, Dude, all he, his next lives, dro- all he's dropping this week, supposedly. He's going to go Super Saiyan 3. I'm ready. It's Very time. Very sad. Yeah, see, the rest of them were just like, like you know, no one should look up to that anime snob and like, you know. Yeah, mostly just responding to the general stuff of the video, which, you yeah. know, I thought you guys got your points across pretty well. Uh, yeah, I'll let, I'll let Daniel digest on that one. But like, you know. Hmm? 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 So moving on to the weekly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the weekly? How it has higher view, a higher view count than the fucking EWV, and it's probably like one of the best weeklies we've had. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. I went back and watched it. It was hilarious. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Here's right. the first one I want to get to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that a portion of this podcast is a convincing argument about how it's not okay to make fun of Toku, but racism is all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is. I mean. That anyway. is, I mean, that is, you know, like, <laughs> maybe he got us a little bit. Uh, see, I like this one by Master Spoon. You know. uh, so now that the Dark Triad arc is over, I'm going to give my Weeb Club arc ranking, number one Weeb Club fan arc. God, that was Re- actually an arc. Re Zero Kum arc. Uh, see, I don't know what Re Zero Kum arc, because I assumed I think that was the hair seasonal. debate. But he put the hair arc later. No, so I that think the cool arc the was. Remember Kuma. my uh, horny echidna po- copy pasta, which I think was also um, oh, very close to an arc, though? the the big boob ponytail punch girl, which like you know. But that was going around on around the same time as the hair arc is my issue. You can and I would say the hair arc time. is the best thing to come out of ReZero. Those hair debates were hysterical. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> white mask, black cloak arc. Hey, did, uh, did God of Mid School arc. Yet? Weeb Club Two arc. <laughs> Racism arc. That's just ongoing. That's just ongoing. Um, what is he talking about? Nunchi <laughs> retrieval arc. Well, I guess it's the Manji retrieval part two again, guys. You Love know? life mind break arc. Uh, oh, dark triad ongo- arc. That's also ongoing. Hair arc and we club times to get bark. Uh, I think someone commented. Yeah, and said, "I don't know, man. Feels like you're sleeping on dark triad a bit." Last weekly was at least a tier. Plus the anonymous letter from Vindy's friend. The polls, the Vindy defense. It was basically a war arc. And I, as think, we all I know, think honestly, war Dark Triad is our best arc. Best. I, I agree. Dark, Dark Triad is our best arc. We stepped up our game for Dark Triad. We made presentations. I made a fucking yeah. entire expose, dog. I got, I got like, you know, famous YouTuber Flutter Rod Vutt interviewed on our fucking um thing, which we'll get to. But um, 
Uh, now that the cr- dark triad arc is over, we can begin the real important arc. The uh, the K no. word no. eradication. No, Kino, arc. Kino, Kino, Kino. That arc, that word. So, real quick, what do you guys think of, of uh, this one? Honestly, none of you four are manipulators. What's a transmuter? Vindy okay. is an emitter. Crash is a conjurer, and none I is a have specialist. A personality, no. guys. No, I have a personality. Follow, if you follow. He's Noga's personality quiz. I'm an enhancer. Don't fucking. BS what the what me. is a whimsical liar? He's a transmuter. What the fuck? You're I'm absolutely an enhancer, and I won't hear anything else. Uh, guys, I have a personality. I like Hunter. Hunter. Uh, I'm so quirky. <laughs> I read. That makes I you a specialist. Anime. Guys, guys. You're Hunter, so special. Hunter you like so, Hunter Hunter. Dude, I'm so special. I like Hunter no, Hunter. No, shut up. Shut guys, up. Hunter Hunter is good. Bungie gum has it's the properties yeah, of both like rubber it. and it's gum, good. guys. No, it's good. Yeah, that's good. Ecolgo. Ecolgo is the most what the what character of all Flutter time. Flutter Butter says, I've been dead in one life, alive in another. So you like, know why uh, what doesn't like uh, Hunter Hunter Craft Dwarf? Why? There aren't women reading? in the main cast. Exactly. <laughs> What about that is wrong? Huh? Nothing. That's why I said it. Fucking stupid ass. Fucking bitch. Fucking loser. <laughs> of course, Mathews gets like probably some of the most likes on the episode where she says, I guess I'm a burb now. Why'd you do uh, that to her? I don't know. That's so I don't understand the entire joke. So. Well, that's because you hate us. <laughs> anyway. I'm, I'm glad that I can help clear the air and shed some real light on the abhorrent behavior of Vindy, Nun, and Crafts. I'm glad that everyone now knows the truth. And you know what? Better for them. I'm never going to sit alone and talk to Craft Store so he can tell me how good Hyper Age of Grid Man is anymore. All right? This is mm-hmm. the worst thing that could happen. Uh, um, yeah. There is one thing I do want to address. It's this comment by AAA that I did re- reply to where he goes, Okay, that argumentation is kind of bull. Not also being a creator in their own right does not dim- dismiss their criticism. The fact that their criticism is shit is why it should be dismissed. Otherwise, we're entering Hartman territory of deflection. Likewise, being a creator doesn't make their critiques, criticism, more worthwhile. For example, check out some of Gantz author Hiro- Hiroya Oku's takes on One Piece. Um, so, here's the problem. Uh, this comment is proof that commenters don't know how to listen, or read, or use their eyes, or think. I'm sorry? Cause like I didn't say it excuses the criticism, I just fucking said you're fucking more likely to be stupid if you don't fucking do the thing that, that you're critiquing, which apparently everybody else in the replies understood. I just think it's kind. Of, I just think it's so weird how everybody like jumps to this thing where it's like, oogity boogity, uh, you can't say that uh if I don't have any experience with it, I'm not allowed to criticize it. Because uh, Butch Hartman, and they can only jump to Butch Hartman as their example of like a counter, of like a counter example. No, right? honestly, I, I've seen plenty of takes of creators like you know, even if they understand certain aspects of the writing process, they're not necessarily the best readers of other yeah, works. Like, like they understand their stuff maybe, but maybe you know, uh, like Miyazaki was shitting on, um, fuck, I can't. <sighs> when, um, when Miyazaki says anything, it's like. Yeah, Man's he's kind old of like and jaded and sad. <laughs> he's kind of a boomer, right? So when he shits on like the Kaon movie. Um, I'm like, okay, dude, whatever. Dude, you're old, um, dude. You're old. Right. So my man's I mean, middle. Like, I maybe I didn't mention it, but I also think like 99 percent of criticism is fucking worthless and stupid. Um, like you know, you and maybe that is because 99.9 percent of critics are not like trying to understand the media they consume and the place that it comes from and. You know, so and they don't create the things, so they don't wouldn't know begin to know how storytelling works from a more subjective standpoint. Of hey, I've written a story and I kind of like feel these things and I felt them out before and I so I kind of get it right. Like, um, and no, not everyone has to, but you know, I'm just saying maybe we can make it like 98 percent of all criticisms is stupid if more people like who wanted to be critics also like engaged more strongly with creating media. Craft Source just said increase the numbers of the one percent. I can't I'm... believe. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe Craft Store forgot the fifty percent rule. Oh my god. No, but like, yeah, I just you guys can't keep jumping to Butch Hartman. I get it. Butch Hartman's dumb, 
But y'all got to fucking use your ears to listen for once in your life. Not like a Butch Hartman's not a so fucking toxic. personality. I hate my, I hate commentators. They don't have rights. What's the problem with that? Is hmm? it because they've never created anything in their lives, so they're not allowed to have a comment? That too, but also... Be, no, no, here's the problem, though. They have created something. They created the comment that I have to fucking read that makes me want to rip out my fucking eyeball. So, you know, there's that. Now... Is there any more you guys want to say on the weekly before I read this one comment? No. Okay, so there's this one comment on the previous EWB, the one about explanation point, that I just wanted to read. That I was requested to read. It's pretty important that we do read it. Um, Vinny makes cool stuff, but he's known to punch slash assault his fans. Someone asked for an autograph, and he went ape <laughs> and sat on their chest and was punching their head back and forth and slamming it against the concrete floor until their head leaked a bright red froth. Despite this, Vinny's a pretty cool guy. I, I don't think bring... I did that. Why? Why don't you think um, you did that? Uh, my rap pause couldn't reach someone's face. Mm -hmm. When you were sitting on the chest. My rap pause still wouldn't reach someone's face if I'm sitting on their chest. I'm a mm -hmm. fucking rat. Are you You're stupid? So rat. anyway, uh, for the lives rat, of the I have, video. I found um, this picture, though. Here's the problem, though. Here's the problem, uh, though. Vinny says that, but I found this fucking rat picture. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta calm down, sir. You gotta chill out. You gotta just settle down, there, champ. Settle down, because you keep trying to get away with this, right? I agree. The dark triad arc is over. We need to stop all this manipulation, all these lies, which is why we're getting it all in the open. Are you gonna post a picture now, or are you just trying to saying bullshit? I'm totally trying. I found. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, So anyway, yeah. Um, look at this rat. You see how big it is? Pretty big rat. Hmm? Yeah, paws are still tiny. Th you tell me that thing couldn't beat your fucking face and sitting on my chest. Its paws are still tiny. You, do you know what extending your the rest of your fucking body out? But is then like? I wouldn't be sitting. Then I'd be standing. No, you would be fucking sitting and extending the rest of your body out, stupid ass. That's not how rats can't move uh, like that, idiot. Oh, he's lying to us. He's trying to manipulate me. And he's so anyway, that, like, on the uh, the Lies of the Weeb Club video, um, Matthias asks if uh, this was a, a ploy to get Matthew's curious about Ruby. Uh, did I did work, explain though? the joke to her, and she has zero interest in Ruby. <laughs> well, I guess I gotta try harder then. Oh no. Um. <laughs> also, Run One 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 feel says I feel so manipulated right now. Uh, you should. Yeah, it's very sad. The arc is over. It's over, man. <laughs> What, what arc are we in now, by the way? We gotta the red is None mod your uh, retrieval, too. You just said that. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. We can't uh, force the next arc. It has to come up naturally. Why don't you force his dick in your ass, bitch? All right. Fine. All right. My pants are off. All right. Come on. I'm waiting. Huh? So we got a joke to that elk. I'm just going to read out read out this message right here real quick. Not unrelated. Uh... I don't know what I did. I thought we were Ruby Bros. Well, you treated me like a dog, like Zwei. I forgot Zwei existed, actually. Zwei, don't you put these nuts in your mouth. I got your ass, bitch. No, you I did. I fucking got you. I accept it. I fucking got you. Yeah. That Suck was pretty my good. Dick, bro. I feel like the one time that what said he, uh, the one time what like didn't get craps when he thinks he did made what try so hard all oh, the time. Oh, the fact now, that you know, he I, sent I, I that exact same sea of things one to like fucking a dozen people and got like nine of them. No, right? okay, so or eight no, of so, them. Like, here's the thing about that. I did that because I was curious to see how many people I could get. Here's the problem though. Um, a boomer more boomer than you possibly got me. Like fucking defeated me, slayed me. <laughs> how I tried to do that to John Eye Patch Wolf, right? <laughs> And like it took the problem was it took too long because because he fucking lives in a different time zone so I fucking get, I fucking tried tried on him and then he f fucking at a certain point right when I get to the point where I act like I'm stupid and I go oh I don't know how to I don't know how to do it oh uh, what's the name on the thing is there an under a different name that thing I fucking do he was like he fucking sends me this these fucking messages and then because I don't check because he's a fucking like hours away he's like i'm on to you nice try <laughs> come at me like this again and i'll fucking cut you <laughs> he sends me the tweet with you <laughs> where he fucking our messages he fucking defeated me <laughs> it's so sad i was fucking i was destroyed ruined as a person 
<laughs> it's all your fault, Crash Door. <laughs> he did kind of fucking get your ass. He really did get my ass. <laughs> all right. Very uh, odd that the oldest one was the one who got me. We should get to the Reddit and get get on with it. We shouldn't get to Reddit. Imagine using Reddit. Uh, there's one about what type? Yeah, yeah we're moving on from that one. Okay. This one, however, is pretty funny. V is the contradiction. Um, it, it it is just really funny how like if you watch a B video for like more than five seconds, you're gonna you're you realize that there's something awry, something's wrong. Maybe the logic's not all the way consistent. Maybe it's contradictory, even you know. I wish I could do the fucking. Uh, so that's a contradiction. What a great opening. No. We could talk about this though. So here's the problem. Dot makes this comic, comic saying, "Haha, Weeb Club comic finale." However, he did fucking make another comic, the Weeb Club comic. Now, here's the thing: is this like Final Fantasy, where like they say <laughs> final and it doesn't really mean final? Because I go fucking back here and I look at, through all of his fucking posts that he made, you know, and I go, "Oh, what's this? Weeb Club comic, the end." Hmm? Yeah, but I thought this one was funny because it was meta about the fact that he's done. Yeah, he said, ha ha, touch grass. Uh, touch grass. Uh, uh. Fucker bitch. It says end. It says end on Weeb Club number 17. Hmm? Do you know what end is? Hmm? Fucking Russian bitch. You know what fucking the word end means? Got your ass. Anyway, I like the last one because it's like Ed and Eddie are edited to be us and then Nandavanji is just there. So here's what's the most filthy thing about this image. He fucking has the the Fallen Angel Johan a Bullet Club parody <laughs> shirt. I know. But I have that shirt. Yeah. Oh my god. So, like, what the fuck? This is so sad. Why and is the casting is perfect. Uh, you got the smart idiot. You got Vindy. Hold on. And then you got a what'd snake. You, what'd you, what was that last What was that first one? How's that work out? That a <laughs> it's smart complicated. Idiot workout. Yeah. High intelligence, low wisdom. Nemanji is 100% Plank, by the way, because Plank is, you know, the coolest member of Ed and Eddie. But, you know, whatever. All right. Uh, so, Vindy, introduce the topic because it was your idea. Yeah, because you're racist. Uh, so, this is the 10th episode of the Weekly Weeb Club. So, uh, I thought it would be... Shut your mouth! I thought it would be a good what idea. What the fuck? I was like, oh, it's sad because none's not here, you fucking asshole! You hate none? No. None's not the one here I hate. Mm. Um... Mm-hmm. It's myself. Got you. Ha ha. Uh, ha 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 ha. Uh, no, because it's the tenth episode. I thought it would be interesting to do what makes a ten. So yeah, I mean, you Ripping know, the idea my is ideas. what what. I, <laughs> shut up. The idea is that like what you know makes you give something like a ten out of ten as a score, and then we can talk about some of our tens. Mm-hmm. 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 And I'm mm-hmm. lucky because I uh, saw a ten this week, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be able to tie it all together and be like a smart here, man. Here, let me talk first, all right? Okay. Let me talk first, all right? Go. Done. You got it, big go sexy. Next. You, go, you go to next trash door. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> You're being so cringe right now. <laughs> Just right now? Because here's He's the not... problem you're missing, <laughs> Senor What the What. What we're talking about is because we want to make it so that people can – you know, listen to the podcast and get an idea of these things when we talk about them. And mind you, when you edit uh, this, put the entirety of my go, fucking video. <laughs> without having to go through your video. <laughs> You're so cringe, honestly. You're so mean to me. What did I do? You know what you did. Tell the people what makes a 10 for you. You said you wanted to talk first. No, no, I, I lied. No, 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 no. No, You're going Crash first. Crash the oldest one here. Crash the oldest uh, one here. You're so toxic. How's that? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Crash anyway, make him so, go first. Yeah. No, Crash um, make him no, go first. No, 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 no. I'll take his mm-hmm. fucking challenge. So, I have kind of a fucking <laughs> problem when it comes to my 10s, you know? Uh-huh. Um, Because when I think of, you know, what makes 10 out of 10, okay, the first thing I think of is One Piece. Mm. Um, But I have such, like, a long and specific relationship with One Piece that, it, in reality, it is 11, and it is a matter of trying to decide what else can I even call a 10. Um, Right? Uh, like, Vindy, you might have that with, like, Little Busters, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just so... I would imagine it's so clear. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It would but, be uh, an 11 or, if I could give it. Or, what? well, like, what with... Like, honestly, like, you say Gurren Lagann and Nisekoi, but it's Love Life. What? Shut up. Um, what did I say? I said 
two of them are ten. No, yeah, you said they're like really close, but like it's love life. Yeah. <laughs> love life is is they are so close. clear. Okay, oh, well, sure. Um, but like, because like, yeah, no one I've expects been... One Piece to be your only ten. Right, right, yeah. That's the, that's and that's the thing is because like you know I, I try to like well where you know where is that line between nine and ten is really like but you know with One Piece it's like okay I've been I've been uh reading it weekly since uh two thousand six so fifteen years um I've you know I, and probably the biggest reason that it's still a favorite is that as my tastes have changed and evolved like one I I that's only like opened up new avenues for me to enjoy One Piece um while it's you know continued to be really good as it's come out. Um, you know, so like, you know, here's the fork, I have a special relationship, and then there's like everything else. And so, you know, um, uh, so I, and I, and I guess another problem I have is sometimes I'll like decide something's a favorite and then I'll like very quickly, like, uh, it'll, um, I'll realize maybe that was, uh, maybe not the best idea, like a Beastars. <laughs> a Beastars? I caught up to it and I was like, this might be one of my favorite manga. And then, uh, the last arc happened and it wasn't bad, but it definitely made me go, is this a favorite? Did I re- did I really like this series this much? I don't know. Uh, the world building is really good, and B- Lugosi is like still one of my favorite characters ever. Uh, I don't know if it's a ten. Um, another series like when I finished Kimi no Nita Totoke, I was legitimately thinking about it, um, and I'm glad I did All not right. because I kind of just like it, it doesn't stick with it doesn't stick it's in my mind right. any. Like I loved it. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna like, fight now. Hang around with me. Like I just don't think about it. Well, Crash, if I can forgive you, but not Vindy. What Vindy, the Vindy does fuck did rights. I do? What Vindy did says, I do? He says something rude. I'm going to forgive you for it. Grow up. Touch grass. No, no. You touch grass first. Get bitch. educated. You touch grass first. Get out of that fucking sewer and touch grass, bitch. Um, and, well, like, I mean, I guess there's something inherently difficult with, like, just even number scores in general. Like, um, just because, like, okay, you're trying to take your feelings, some very, very you know, subjective feelings on a work. Uh, that are likely, you know, even if I give two things a seven, like, I could feel feel very different, like, you know, they could be sevens for very different reasons. So I'm just giving those feelings a very, like, blanket score. And, you know, what those scores, like, like if, especially, like, if I look down my, like, I think a good example is I reread uh, Galactic Patrol Jacko, which was the Toriyama manga he did as, it's kind of like a prequel a prequel to Super. Um, I gave it a six back when I finished it. Uh, for reference, I also gave Dragon Ball a six back when I first read it. And I recently reread both, and I gave Dragon Ball an 8, I came to appreciate it a lot more, and I gave Jacko a 4, and I don't think my feelings changed on it, I just realized, like, wow, this is really fucking boring. Um, and I just don't know why I gave it a 6 in the first place, really. Um, right, and so, I, like, a lot of my old scores are based on my old opinions, right? Like, I still have Full Metal Alchemist at a 4, I have uh, Chunibyo, uh, the QNA show, I have Season 1 at a 6, and Season 2 is, like, at, like, a 3, right? And those are things I definitely need to eventually rewatch or reread. Um... You know, so like, like that's a big part of why I'm doing the favorites rewatch, um, is because I'm trying to like, like I rewatched Kaiji and that used to be a ten, but now it's like, I don't feel that strongly about it anymore. Like back when I watched it, it was fucking mind blowing. It was my first Fukumoto work. It was fucking intense. Um, you know, it was something I hadn't watched before, but now I've become so familiar with Fukumoto's work. You know, even if it's still like a phenomenal adaptation it's not nothing I haven't seen before, right? If that makes sense. So, um, I don't know. I guess I didn't answer the question, but I'll, I'll pass it over to someone else. So, well, here's the thing, Crash Tour. Would you say that what makes a 10 for you is something that really gels with you personally and you usually have some kind of unique I fucking hate you. <laughs> or it consistently gets you emo- unemotional even just thinking about it? <laughs> Yeah, and then so I was, that's that how I was going to describe it. Something between a 9 and a 10 is something that's really great, basically good and compelling to you in all regards, just missing something personal in regards to going higher. Might not stick with you in the long run, <laughs> So for anyone who doesn't know, he's reading off my My <laughs> list where I have I a... I fucking basically... fuck with the image. <laughs> Dude, I found that. I totally forgot... You were like one of those people on Mal who like lists out their fucking criteria for like what each what each one is. I mean that's like years old and I just never got around to changing it. Yeah, so, I, yeah, I know I could tell because I used I used I to mean, do that too. I mean, I don't think it's untrue, but it's definitely like not that clear cut, right? Um, Dude, your fucking one is a fucking Danganronpa reference. Yeah, well, that's because most of my ones are Danganronpa. Uh, that's Isn't unfortunate. that so sad? 
It's so sad. <laughs> what a hate. What a pure Danganronpa hater. Why do you hate Danganronpa? It's so, so funny. It's one of my favorite franchises, but also like uh, some of the entries are just I just found to be dog shit. Yeah, I, I expect, a, it I, I expect my score on Danganronpa three to go up. Um, I do not expect my score on Danganronpa Killer Killer to go up uh, at all. Well, that's because you're just so full of hatred. Like, yeah. You know, it's, it's but, funny uh, to me because like I used to do that shit. Until, like, I got so tired of so many people on Mal being like, What makes a 1 in a, t- a 10 is not, it's perfect, no flaws whatsoever. And they'd fucking, fucking argue with people you know, for fucking hours on the fucking <laughs> difference of the rating. So eventually I just said, 10 is, 10 makes me come, 1 makes me want to kill myself. And then that's it, that's all I would say. <laughs> How about you, Vindy? What makes a 10 for you? Uh, Generally, it's like, if I'm going to give something a 10... It's like I feel like I'm like uh, super like personally attached to to it in some way, right? Sometimes it's like I find it like unbelievably relatable, um, is what some of mine are. Mm. Uh, sometimes it's just that like I get really really attached to the characters in the world or, or the characters and the story as a whole, and it's like you know, um, generally I feel like you know I feel way like there's like degrees of emotion i guess and I, like everything that's in like 10 i feel like is like this step above everything else in terms of like uh my emotional attachment to it um right because like that's like really what like your score is at the end of the day right like some of it you know you're you're gonna think that the things you're emotionally attached to are good or if something's good you know you'll be a certain level of like attached to it or like engaged with it right mm-hmm. uh but for a 10 it's like like it's almost like to be a 10 like you you don't just have to be like something I think is like really really good, right? Like there's a lot of nines like Epo or Yo Pedal or Haiku, um, or Hunter Hunter, right? Uh, or Tokyo Avengers. Like I think that they're like really 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 fucking good, right? Um, mm-hmm. and that like there's like no reason that like I don't think someone could easily like one of my nines more than one of my tens, but it's that like my tens I feel su- like it's such a high degree of like emotional attachment to that something that goes past just like any of the nines, um kind of is how i look at it and i guess one thing with me that i've noticed that i'll do is like um because usually like if i look at my tens there's like a, there's a different reason for each one right yeah, um, yeah, yeah i agree it's never like the exact same right and so my a problem i've had is that sometimes like i'll think of a reason that it might be a 10 and then my feelings will change uh the most egregious example of that for me being uh when i read ashino joe for the second time i think I remember I was just like, you know, thinking about it and I made a, a what I thought was a connection, like a, a, an idea, right, that might have been video worthy. And I thought, shit, maybe the, that, this idea makes me really emotional. It might be a 10 after all. Then I went over that material again and I realized I was wrong. Um, so I like added it to my favorites for a reason that wasn't true. Like, and that, like, and that, like, and then after that point, I kind of realized that maybe like uh, analysis isn't a good way to decide my favorites, right? Like, even if, right. like, Ashina Joe's, like, it is a phenomenally told story, but here, you know, I'm looking at, I saw an idea that wasn't actually there when I went back through it. Um, you know, so there's, like, and Ashina Joe is, like, my favorite nine at the moment, I think, or one of my favorite uh, nine out of ten manga. Like, it's very close to being a favorite. It just hasn't quite hit that point for me. But it was right. at one point, and very quickly I realized I don't, I didn't think it was, uh, so it's, you know, like, you know, sometimes, or, you know, Nisekoi was another ser- series that I made a favorite and then kind of reread it sometime after and I decided it wasn't a favorite anymore. Right, um, yeah. I liked it a lot. God. Imagine um, being here and not, yeah. imagine being in this car right now and not having Nisekoi at a 10. Couldn't be me. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking pathetic. Couldn't well, I'm driving, me. motherfuckers. Uh, I think Nisekoi is better on a reread personally. Uh, it is, Vindy. It is. But I want to. Chitoge makes you hornier, car. but. Oh, huh? 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 You know what I said? They know what I said. Mm-hmm. Okay, continue, craft store. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Because yeah, well, like if I look at my tens, like especially if I, you know, like One Piece, I don't need to explain any further. But like, okay, so early this year, I literally was thinking about Hiyamari Sketch again, and I had this feeling of like, man, maybe I should watch it a fifth time. And then I realized I shouldn't do that. I have other things to do. I don't need to watch Hitamari sketch a fifth time, especially when What the What hasn't even finished it, even though he promised me he would because he's a piece of shit. Yes, I'm going to bring that up every time. But, like, you know, Hitamari sketch is just a show that's, like, super special to me. I love all the characters. I just, like, thinking about it and engaging with it is just, like, happiness incarnate uh, for me. 
um, in a way that nothing else is. Even One Piece, like, like, what, like Plunderer, I think, has, a, like, fucking, aside from just being insanity, like, every fucking chapter is, like, it leaves me fucking crying or screaming or losing my mind in some way. Like, this fucker in 40 pages can make me lose my shit. In whatever way he he has me in the fucking palm of his hand. I'm the monkey king to his Buddha. I can't do anything, right? Like that's something nothing else has ever. Not even One Piece has been able to like consistently make me lose my shit for on a on a chapter to chapter basis. Um, Thunder (laughs) is built fucking different. I will give you that one. Right. So like and and you know nothing else I've read weekly has come close to that. Right. Um. You know even like Made in Abyss or like Song Gotu has some really fucking great chapters. Um, oh. That one I decided was a favorite because, like, I think it has both a phenomenal anime and a phenomenal manga. And when I started rereading it, I was crying like three pages in. Dude, every <laughs> fucking page of that fucking manga has something that just fucking emotionally murders me. Right, God, like it, it's just, just a real dark triad. So yeah, fucking it, it, manipulative. It, 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 yeah, if not, it, it, like every part of that manga is just really good. All the characters are good. It's just like it's just a phenomenal manga, and it hurts me, and it's it, I like it a lot. Um, uh, where Made in same. Abyss is a, like I have probably gone through that material at least like four or five times for like the up to the like, the Eda front arc and I still like it's just I just appreciate it more every time I feel like um, and you know I'm an edgy piece of shit um, who hates children so it's right up my alley all right, um, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, what else like Madoka I think is my it's not my um for it's not my top favorite anime but it is a ser- it's kind of like it's it's the clo- it's the my longest favorite anime I've been a fan of Madoka for like um almost for 9 years now uh since I watched it in 2012 and I've just continued to love it more and more um Chihafuru, uh Sword Art Online is my most recent favorite of the ones I currently have listed uh because holy fucking shit I didn't expect it to be that good and it's just like I like sci-fi stuff and this is like doing my favorite sci-fi stuff so you know um uh, and of course uh, place for the universe is the last one i haven't mentioned uh which is only going to destroy me more when i watch it a third time but, you know. uh so uh, like oh, i just went through like the series like I, I need to reread and rewatch a bunch more is the idea but those are the ones i currently anime manga i currently have at a 10 right and they all have a, a the good reason right? for Yes, like I, I did, like I rewatched Shiafu for the 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 Weep Club. I rewatched right. Shinomari Sketch, Madoka. I rewatched. Uh, I say it was the only one I haven't rewatched, but I did watch that but one. You recently, watched it so. so recently that it's. And fine. I would rewatch it. <laughs> I just need an excuse. Um, so, um, uh-huh. and yeah, Song Gato I reread, Maiden Abyss I reread, Plunder I have not reread, but I'm very excited to when I finish it. So, or when it finishes. Yeah. So, so I'll I'll try to go through those my tens around as quick as you crafts. Um, I'll throw games in there as well. Um, but, uh, I guess for my anime first, I have, uh, I only have five, or I guess I have five now, fuck. Um, but it's, it's Barakamon, mm. which is the anime I've seen, like, the 12 episodes of the most. I think I, I've seen that show maybe, like, 15 times. Um, <laughs> it's, like, my fucking comfort show. Like, mm. I literally would just, like, uh, there was a period where I was watching it, like, once a month. It was just, like, whatever, I was just, like, whatever, I'll just watch it as, like, a movie. Right, like I just watch it in one sitting. Um, I fucking mm-hmm. love Barakamon. Uh, I think it's really good. I think the anime does a lot that makes it really good and improves um, on the material that it adapted. Right? Uh, or well, I mean, I remember you mentioning that like one of the, and and a common thing in ad- with adaptations in general is like the manga when it starts is when the art is usually the roughest, and yeah. so the anime kind of like it, it usually that, and that's one of the easiest things for the anime to fix by right. virtue of like basing their character um, designs off the later stuff rather than the earlier yeah. stuff. Yeah. So that's true with Barakamon. Um, I think there's some other things like the fact that it, it's a tra- cast of mainly children and it uses child voice actors is really fucking good. Uh, I think that helps Barakamon a lot. Um, I think as an anime, it's really good. But then the problem is it, it. I think it does a good thing in terms of taking some things out and adding a couple of things from later in, or like not, but just taking some things out to kind of condense like an ending point that they wanted there, right, right. so that the show has like one focus instead of kind of a, a broader <laughs> focus that the manga has, uh, in some mm-hmm. ways. Um, Sangatsu's on there. It's on Barakamon and Sangatsu are both are on both of my tens. So I guess I can talk about the manga for Barakamon as well. Um, fucking the story, like the way it goes through in the manga, um, and Honda's character, which is a large part of both of them for me, is so like it's so fucking good. And there's multiple points in the manga where like the direction he decided to take his life um, was so like different than what I was expecting, but I, I ended up really like liking that part of it, that aspect of the series a lot. 
Um, and then his like relationship with the kids and the townspeople is so fucking good. Uh, Sangatsu um, is kind of simple in like the easiest way to explain a lot of my appeal with it, which is uh, I'm depressed, and the series is like kind of about depression for parts of it, mm-hmm. for a lot of it. Uh, and then there's just everything else, especially with the manga. Oh my fucking god. The shit that the manga goes into that the anime doesn't even have. Holy oh my shit. Fucking god. Some of the some of the best shit I've ever done, seen. Like I've read that arc at least 3 times. Yeah. Um yeah. And like the newer shit, some of the new shit. Oh my fucking god. god. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Uh, I love all the characters in Sangatsu. It's great. Uh K-On, it's it's fucking K-On. It's so good. Uh, some of this one is like a timing thing where I watched it uh, at a time in my life where I was leaving high school and wasn't seeing a lot of people anymore. So then the ending part of K-On! where it like focused on that, like kind of, you know, it was like, oh. Uh, and then it just slaps and I still listen to the soundtrack now. Um, and I've, I haven't seen it in like four over four years. Uh, ReZero is... Uh, more recent, but... Uh... More recent. So pog. Oh my God. I And I made a whole video... I got off my ass and made a video about, uh, like, how I relate to Subaru and shit. And so that's it. And then I, I fucking Gintama. It, it's Gintama. I love Gintoki. He's a fucking hero. Um, it's so good. The final is so pog, and I'll talk about it later. But, oh, my fucking God, it's so funny. It, the serious moments are great. I fucking love yours. Uh, I love the fucking Odd Dog Dog Show. I... God, good Tom is so good, and what hates yeah, him. Yeah, well, and like that. I don't, maybe you mentioned it, and I because uh, you mentioned it before stream too. But and I, I knew, it, but so I don't remember if you mentioned it in the recording. But it recently displaced Barakamon as your top one anime, right? Because of the yeah, final. yeah, yeah. yeah um, w- with the yeah. final and everything considered, uh, Gintama is now my uh, my favorite anime, like my top one. Um, which I mean, yeah. I think as long as I've known y'all, Barakamon's been my favorite anime. I no, as long as yeah. I've known you, Barakamon's been your favorite until like literally what like yesterday. <laughs> yeah yeah when uh it's so. just it, it i can't not like god god it's so good it's so good um and then the only manga ones i haven't mentioned uh are kingdom uh just so fucking good um i i love shin and i love his story the art's great uh it gets you so like unbelievably fucking hyped reading this shit right and like someone's giving a speech and it's fucking loud and you're like crying, and you're like, let's fucking go! Or just like, there's so many moments that have me like fucking mm-hmm. out of my seat. Uh, Naruto, really I good. mean, yeah. it, it's, it, I, I don't even know how to talk about Naruto. There's so much with it. <laughs> well, uh, I think you, you relate to it really fucking hard. So, yeah, like, and not just um, that. It's like, if I, like, here's what I'll say about it in so many ways. If I were to make a video about why, if I were to do like a what the what, like why I, you know, whatever, uh, love blank, right? Like um what? Okay. my longest one would be my little busters one um over everything even though there are other series i like more uh really only sangatsu but uh, i think naruto would be my second longest um mm-hmm. i have so much to say about why i love naruto uh i, I can't mean it's also like it what little later. busters and uh, naruto also like really long right so it makes, yeah you know. well it's it's their long um not with little busters but little busters is so personal but like naruto i have like this long history with it that like I, right. Like, no, you I talked can't about separate how you watched that it as history a kid, right? of yeah. from the, um, the series. Um and my like emotional attachment to it. So yeah, Naruto's so good. Uh Nisekoi, I mean Neo Shikomi's a god. He made Chitoge. Uh and then he also Ooh. made like the best romance between two characters. Look, Raku cucks me daily. And I still <laughs> think that like Raku and Chitoge is like the greatest relationship I've ever seen, I think. Uh, romantic relationship it's so fucking good it's unreal uh and then uh kaiji part five because i it, it it's almost the same as kingdom where it's just like i'm so unbelievably like popping off for 16 volumes straight with kaiji part five kaiji part just, five i'd be surprised if i didn't give it a 10 again after it, i reread it, it because it's holy so shit. good uh, Kaiji's a fucking hero. Andy's a psycho loser. Kazi is a fucking phenomenal antagonist. Oh my um, god, god. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god. When he says that he's just there's no curing him. He's just he's a fucking broken gambling at. Oh my god. I I I I'll never get over that moment. It's so fucking good. So yeah, those are my. I guess there's games, but games I 
I find it so hard to rate games. I don't like doing it. I don't um, even know. Like, see, I've been, I've been thinking about that, and I don't even know what what how, like because games like most of my games that I've rated a ten, like I primarily like for gameplay. Like, I very rarely, I I can't think of any story heavy games I've given a ten. Um, uh. It, that aren't visual novels or you yeah. know that, those kind of adventure game kind of things, and even then, it's like Chaos Child and maybe a Danganronpa game or two. Like, uh, well, you know, um, yeah, it's just so like the, there's a lot of games that like like there are games that like I have super super high amounts of emotional attachment to, but like I don't play that much or want to play that much or whatever. Um, hmm. And then it's like you know there are games where it's like I only have one game that I would 100 feel comfortable being like this is a ten in all regards everything maybe two everything else is like so unbelievably like impossible for me to like pin no yeah down. it's like this is like, for sure a 10 because i just and i guess it. that goes back to like you know trying to apply a number to a subjective like feeling because like the way games are consumed is so different than we normally consume like other narratives like you know like we, we watch a movie and okay the story hurts us right so we give it a high score right um in a good way um and then, but like with games, is there's more to them than just a story. So trying to like judge them as experiences, I guess maybe that's what's harder about them, um, right? If that makes sense, mm. uh, because like, like you know, I can't think like I I don't know, I can't think yeah, I can't think of any game that would have affected me as much as like my favorite anime or manga, um, which I guess ties to another conversation where it's like uh, with other mediums like comic books. I don't have a comic book I would rate a ten out of ten. And that's not because, like, I hate comic books or um, I think yeah. they're, like, inherently worse. It's just because just I haven't, haven't read, read that many. Right. Like, uh, I can, you know, I just haven't read one that has hit me as hard as, like, my favorite manga or anime. Um, you know, like, with Toku, I think I only have one 10 out of 10, and that's Lupin Ranger versus Pat Ranger, which I've seen twice. And it, I liked it the fir- a lot the first time, and when I rewatched it, all my problems with it went away because I realized they weren't you know i I didn't have a problem with them anymore and it's just a phenomenally told story with one of my favorite characters of all time a phenomenal cast like uh it's just really it's just so fucking good and how the fuck did was this my first toku that i'd seen since power rangers how did i stumble into a 10 out of 10 from the get-go what the fuck (laughs) um Mm -hmm. so you know but like yeah with games i'm just i don't i have no idea what to do like monster hunter one of them but even then like they're so similar that like which ones do i give a 10 and which ones do i give a nine um so yeah i have no idea (laughs) what what the what what about your tens list out yours uh hello my tens oh boy uh i'll refrain or not i'll refrain from mentioning love life because we all know <laughs> love life yeah i mean i think i think you don't have to talk too much about love live and bleach because i mean you have videos on both of them right so yeah like, well, we get it yeah yeah so like yeah haha what the what likes love live guys that's crazy we're probably skipping Whoa. that one so well yeah i mean crafts uh, and i didn't mention our like giga tens right like we didn't mention one piece or little busters really so yeah mm-hmm. uh but before love live uh uh, was my number ten well, number one number, uh, number one anime of all time? Tekken Topo Goran Lagan used to be number one. Uh, every I've rewatched the series so many times and I cry every time. And like I fucking like one of the things that I tried to buy imme- buy immediately was the fucking uh, team Go- team Daigoran flag. It's it's a series that fucking gets me on a fucking spiritual level, man. Like, it's a fucking meme now whenever we watch something where these fuckers go, it's a what the what show. With It's like, um, <laughs> I don't even know how that fucking branding came about. And I don't even know how to describe it sometimes. It's just kind of like series about... You just about, know it when you see it. You just know when you see it for some reason. Yeah, I couldn't so, tell you what a what the what show is, but I know when if I see one. Gurren Logon is like one of a, a quintessential what the what show. It's about a character who hates themselves and fucking has to fucking deal with his mistakes and evolve past the person he is before. It's good shit. Make me cry. Fucking, I think it either is or for some reason I keep balancing it between Love Life Sunshine Season 2's opening as my favorite opening of all time as well. Like, there's just so much about Gurren Lagann that I fucking love, right? Um, It's one of the only shows where people start shit is like, if people start like shitting on it, I'll start cry, fucking baby raging as hard as I fucking could. Because you're not allowed to not like Gurren Lagann. But like, it's 
just something about Gurnlog. On you can watch the fucking podcast where I was fucking we, screaming the entire time. Yeah, we had to like stop because it's like you know what we know you can go on for longer. No, but, you had uh, to stop me. We you have like uh, no, yeah, that, that's what I mean. <laughs> we have to, we have lives to get to. What we can't be here for fifty uh, hours. Okay. <laughs> I love you, but also you love Gurnlog right. maybe a bit too much. Uh, well, okay, you're, you're toxic. <laughs> um, Keep going. one of the cases where both the where it's in both anime and manga form, it's a ten out of ten. Is Hajime no Ippo. Hajime no Ippo is my Bangers. is so fucking good, and it's one of the rare cases where it has an anime adaptation where it's like I'd be, I'd be fine with somebody either watching it or reading it. You have better though. I've hmm? only watched what? the anime, but Tell I can. Yourself. I've only watched the anime, but I can say that yeah, I thought it was a really good adaptation. Or I, I can't it's, say it's a good adaptation. I thought it was a good anime, and I liked it. Even it's a I heard really the see, good adaptation. I heard the later seasons like people don't like those as much, but I thought they they had better material. <laughs> so hey, I mean, know. yeah, I mean, Takamura Hawk um, was in the later seasons. Takamura Hawk fucking, was in the, uh, the Kumagawa at flashback with him. Like that was also yes. fucking great. Like hello. Not Kumagawa. Um, the issue Kumagawa. is more so what it skips. Like, no, see, um, and I don't have that season. problem because I've only watched it. And there's definitely I yeah. noticed like like if, oh, there's puppies now. Okay, I don't sure they they didn't. Touch it doesn't on that at show all. him getting Wanpo. No, no. They, oh, that's yeah. cringe. I love right, Wanpo. So he just has him, I guess. And I'm like, okay, uh, like yeah. This, so, so yeah, I, I I figured that some stuff got skipped. I just don't know what it is because I've only watched it. And I'll read it eventually for sure. But uh, yeah, um, this anyway, is one of those fucking cases though with Hajime Noipo where it's like the monk. It's like. Where the anime has very th- has things that the manga just doesn't have, where it's like fucking the sound design itself, of the fucking sound effects it uses, the way the fucking voice acting, the fucking. Um, music there was that an uses. instance where so um I've had hearing uh not hearing problems, but in the past I did I had to put uh had tubes inserted in my ears to widen like the ear canal, and before high school I was like so nervous my one of my ears was fucking up and I like accidentally like scratched it until it bled inside. Um, so that right ear still has, like, sometimes I'll just hear, like, a ringing noise, um, which apparently also happens if you have, like, head injuries. And during the one of uh, Miata's fights, the rival character, uh, it's, like, I just watched another show where they also did that ringing noise, and I felt like, uh, the Ipo one was much closer to the ringing noise that I felt. So, like, having this, the, using the sound to show the way the character was injured in a way that I personally had experienced through my, like, you know, ear problems was, like, I... I I don't remember another time hearing such a dead on like ringing noise to what I hear. Uh, right. So like, that's just an example of like how good the sound design is, is what I'm saying. Uh, it's fucking peak. You can't nail shit, that noise right? unless you've heard it yourself and had that like hearing damage or, you know, which is uh, interesting that they were able to nail it for personally speaking. So. And like, Hajime no Ipa is some of the best art ever. Like uh, in the manga. Yeah. Here's my one thing about saying that it's okay oh, to not read it. God. But. No, 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 I no, no. S- you're you're going to agree with this. You're going to agree with this. You're going to agree with this. If someone yeah, yeah, only yeah. watched the anime and didn't read it, okay, uh, they yeah. would miss everything post-1200, a.k.a. the well, best part of the manga. No, but Vindy, it's so boring. No, though. no, no. It's the so fucking boring. spreads with the leaves <laughs> are so clear above anything that else in the fucking manga. It's not even close, Vindy, okay? why did it take a game so wrong? Okay, but what? They're his treasure. Vindy, I'm fucking mocking. God, you're so. I don't deal with those mockers. You. They're dumb and those stupid. And they need to get a life. They need to touch yeah. grass. Like they need Evo to touch does. grass. They need to touch leaves, man. They, they, they need to touch leaves and understand what treasure is. <laughs> All right, uh, Kaon's also there. Poggers. Uh, both. Kaon is fucking, dude. Both. That shit. Yes. Well, I okay. So I only put one of them each because if I if I put the fucking every entry in the things I consider tens. The whole half my shit would be love life, right? So we're not gonna fucking do that. No, so, I mean both anime and manga, dog. Oh no, not the manga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Hello? real quick, while you're on Kaon, uh, Kaon's an example of an anime I gave a ten for a dumb reason. Not that I don't like Kaon, but it's more just that I need to rewatch it to be sure. Uh, the reason I gave it a ten previously was because I started rewatching Hibiki Euphonium, and I just got a really like strong urge to rewatch Kaon, even though I just watched Kaon like the previous month, and I was like, wow, I've never wanted to rewatch a show. Uh, right after finishing it, so let's give it a ten. And I'm like, looking back, I'm like, shut up, idiot. Rewatch it first. Why don't you actually rewatch it? But anyway, uh, go ahead. Kaon, good. Uh, it's good. I like it. it. I like it. Yeah, Kaon is fucking great, especially for what it. Especially re reading the manga made me appreciate it way more. And I was I was fucking thinking about things and comparing things visually, like in my head, and just 
remembering moments where I just uh, where I fucking cry like baby and fucking <laughs> these entire time. However, Kaon's at Kaon's being threatened. You see, <laughs> because any day now, I could randomly decide that uh, Violet Evergarden should take its place. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see. But yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that's what I was gonna. Mask- uh, or go on. Hmm? Sorry, I was just gonna uh, say like. Idol- um, oh no, I thought you said. Uh, speak, craft dwarf, old man. Uh. I'm just thinking like what's also interesting is those nines that we think might become tens, right? Uh, like yeah, Violet Evergarden for both of us, I think, is one. But anyway, sorry, I meant go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah, don't mention the one show. But anyway, um, <laughs> Idol Master is on my fucking top ten. Uh, Vindy's a traitor, so we're gonna ignore How him. How am I a traitor? Uh, so the Idol Master is it's fucking not great. A 10. Good, kill yourself. It's and great. Like, don't get me wrong. It has phenomenal fucking, anime. Better than Love Live. It has Nebuhime, and it has fucking fuck. Ugh. It has Yakusoku. You fucking bitch. Ooh, I, how I you like it a lot. It's on my four by four. You're a fucking whore. Okay, with, without You're looking it whore. up. Without looking up. Um. I want you guys to guess what did 2013 uh, Craft Store 2014 early 2014 Craft Store give Idolmaster when he Four. finished it a drop. I give it a five. Yeah, okay, we're killing you. We're killing you. <laughs> I I'm almost said five. I almost said he thought it was whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna fucking kill this man. That's absolutely a joke, Craft Store. What'd you think? <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. No, I, it's he 100 percent has said that to us. He has said that to us before. Yeah, I caught like, too clear best style anime. No, what? Idolmaster. What? No, Love Life. But anyway, right? Uh, Idolmaster is so fucking good. Has fucking great characters. Producers of fucking Chad. Fucking, fuck. Ooh, there's just so much. It's good like, dojins. Very good dojins. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and like, there's just fucking. I made a video about the fucking Chihai episodes. What what makes the Chihai episodes even better is what happens after the Chihai episodes at the end of the series. Oh, the fucking end where they perform the openings and I cry. Hmm? Hmm? Are you ready? Are you lady? Say next. Hajimeo. Uh. Hmm? Okay. See, I have like more tense for anime than I do for manga. And it's mainly because like my numbers between the two are like, like there's a 900, there's a, a 700 number difference between the two. So like, um, below Idol Master is Sora Yori, um, which I have to rewatch. And every time I think about it, it's like I don't want to be emotionally ruined today. I'll just every emotionally ruin myself. Every fucking episode is so good. How does it do that? <laughs> I fucking hate it. Remember we were fucking watching it. We were fuck for the old Weeb Club, and we were fucking like, how does it ruin us? Every second, every time, it plays a fucking song, and then we start fucking. <laughs> <laughs> also apparently the team that did uh soriori is working on another um or madhouse original show so uh i can't wait to die yeah it's gonna get I... murderous <laughs> uh yeah i want to rewatch it because i want to rewatch a lot of the a lot of shows from this other weave club that doesn't exist anymore um so we can talk about it but yeah sorry let's very, rewatch very magipoka that's not <laughs> it's really not uh, below that is a show that keeps kind of descending because I just I don't know. Maybe when I read the manga I'll feel differently, but um I put the manga on hold because I don't like the beginning. It's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Guys, I have a personality. I like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That one's I'm funny to me because quirky. aside from me not caring for it, I like between you and Mathwiz, I just like know like people who've just had it as a favorite and just as they g- go through more, it just keep sliding down their favorites list and they won't rewatch it. So, no, I did rewatch it though. Oh, sad. I rewatched it last year, oh, and you that did. was that's what, right. Con- and that's what convinced me it was a ten. The problem is more so just like as I keep watching more and more things, FMAB is like. To me, for some reason, having it that high above other like as other other battle shown things, especially, I'm just kind of like, do I still feel the same way? And mainly the kicker is because I don't enjoy the beginning of FMAB nearly as much as everything else. And I was like, huh, maybe it's just because of the way it adapts it. But then I watched, I started reading the manga, and I'm like, damn, I really don't care. 
This is so sad. And just so like I don't I don't know how to feel about it. Other than the fact that it has one it has one of the greatest openings of all time. But anyway, um after that's Clan at After Story, which probably I'm gonna rewatch sometime. I'm gonna play the visual novel first. Because I have it downloaded. I'm gonna play the little busters then Clan Ad. Yes! Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, the rap uh, pack Clan takes so, another dub. Clan Ad is just so fucking good. Make me sob, make me cry. Fucking I, I think really is that like I like it because of After Story more so than I like it because of Clan Ad, but it's like it's like the little brother, it's like the little sibling you gotta take everywhere, right? Well, you, you can't, know? yeah, like you can't have one without the other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People who are cringe and say, like disregard Clan Ad and say only After Story is the only good part. It's like, well, most of the stuff that's in After Story is a result of Clan Ad, so suck my dick, bro. <laughs> now here's a recent entry. Uh, the redemption arc, the what the what redemption arc was re zero season two is on this Let's fucking. Let's fucking go. Re zero season two knows how to ruin me, ruin me as a person, ruin me forever. Uh. Fucking make me cry, cry like baby. Cry. Fucking every wow. week we were watching that show, I just died more. And then when I, I rewatched like... it all, I'm actually really glad that when I rewatched it, I rewatched season the first core to watch the second. Like I think it made it a lot better for me. Dude, God, I rewatched the same fucking moments. Fucking episode 18, fucking Subaru's first speech to Rem, fucking Subaru after he saves, after he saves Amelia at the end of season one. Every episode fucking, in the in season two. I mean, every episode, in every, my opinion, has a moment. Do like season, every, episode four in season two, I, I think it was four or three, the, the one where he goes back, where he talks to his parents again. It was four. Where like It was four. Yeah, so I am right. I thought, I always think, because here's the thing, I I was like delusional or something. I was like fucking playing it on screen, and like there are people in the room, but they didn't see me crying. And <laughs> when I was watching episode four, yeah, God, God, oh God, and I watched the fucking when it, when Amelia fucking fucking sees the ideal the ideal future the ideal present she could have had, and I start crying. Fuck Re Zero, terrible show, make me cry like baby. Fucking ooh, uh, the Betty stuff. Uh. Oh, Amelia that too? being the dumbest and cutest and stupidest lady of all time. He has to be careful because none is ever in this. So even though he's not here, I'll right. take care of the Shut kid. Shut up! <laughs> none isn't here. And none's editing it, and he hasn't seen it. Don't spoil him. So anyway, here's one show on my ten out of ten that I want you guys to fucking watch so that I have an excuse to rewatch it and confirm that it is indeed on my ten out of ten. Oh, no. It's fucking Kyoso Giga, y'all. I've it's already Kyoso seen it. Kyoso Giga. Hmm? I've already seen it. What know, score did you it? think I guys gave, I gave it when I watched it as it aired? Probably a six. Probably a four. I think it's a five. All right. Did we well. just flip from last time? <laughs> yes. Uh, and it was still a five. No, <laughs> Kyoso Giga is like a nine. No, it's a six. Kyoso Giga is uh, a fucking It's 10. actually a six. Hey, I'm always uh, on the money. Yourself. I'm I right on yourself. the money, boys. Kyoso Giga... <laughs> There's one moment in particular with Kyoso Giga that the just OP. ruins me as a person. Okay, aside from the OP being fucking one of the greatest openings ever made, right? There's this moment where, like, the where, oh, because uh, the whole thing's about family. Oh, fucking Fast and Furious family. There's a part where Yase is fucking thinking, like, has like, she's looking for like a teacup, and it's just fucking, and I start. I want to die. I want to die and start fucking dying on the inside. Ah! <laughs> but yeah, I want to rewatch Kill So Giga. It's really fucking beautiful as a show as well. It's fucking great. But here's a th- like my my tense for anime I keep cons- constantly shifting as new things come along because of new stimuli, new stimuli. But new funny like picture, <laughs> new funny picture to funny, cry at funny japanese language anime tar- cartoon watch and cry and 10 out of 10 funny right? japanese language show keep fucking cutting onions <laughs> but anyway the manga for me i think recently i've realized that if you look at the manga there like my tens that's kind of more evident more evident about things about me right because of course we have oogity boogity bleach guys guys <laughs> did you know that what the what likes bleach has it surpassed Nisekoi as your favorite manga yet? Or it, uh... they constantly fucking sit there and s- jump over the fuck switch sides, mm-hmm. switch positions constantly. There's never gonna be a definitive winner between the two. So I sit there and I fucking like, well, see Bleach, I worship that. 
Well, like, I guess, yeah, no, I can kind of understand. It makes me cry. Because Bleach you have more of a history with, but also, like, it, you know, the last arc does have, you know, it should have been a little bit longer, even, like, a volume longer, right? Um, Where Nisekoi, I would say Nisekoi is perfect, right? Um, Like, I've legitimately considered Uh, So perfect, uh, you don't give it a 10, huh? Yeah, okay. No, I mean, just, like... (sighs) Did you not listen to him? He said (laughs) that it's perfect, that being perfect doesn't matter towards a 10, you fucking ape. Yeah, or, like, like, I just think it's, like, phenomenally, like, constructed and built and like it, 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 it's 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 really well made it's a sewers, bitch. phenomenal like i can recommend recognize something for being well made even if, even if i don't like love it or le- like uh. love it like a 10 out of 10 like i love nisekoi i give it a nine shut the suck my dick suck my three you, sure. you don't like like it huh yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah which is why you need to fucking stop reading but like yeah nisekoi is fucking i don't great. think you need to stop reading craft store if i think you're okay <laughs> Imagine God, thinking dude. a millionaire-year-old fucking demigod needs to breathe. Suck my ass, <laughs> too. Suck my three-inch dick through my ass like a fucking straw. Calm down, Ichiro. What? What the fuck, dude? This is fucking wild. Why are you saying these things to me? You're so rude. Ah, uh, but anyway, um, yeah, fucking Nisekoi is great. Me make videos about it. Me make me cry. Me see fucking. Onodera be my be my best girl and me being like yeah. Uh, I don't should I spoil it and say fucking. You've done two videos happens? on it. Like I think that's enough. You could yeah, just, uh... just watch re- watch videos. However, um, Hajime no Ippo, We already talked about that. However, here's one here's one manga that I finished recently and that I didn't want to finish for a long long time. Ah uh, yeah. Because every time I fucking tried to read it. I would be sitting there, a fucking emotionally ruined mess, crying, literally sobbing like a baby. It's called Kimi ni Todoke. Which I hate because I only gave it a nine. Yeah, exactly. You know, fucking cruel and unusual punishment from you. Yeah, because, you know. That's more respectable than giving it a nine. That is more respectable than giving it a nine. <laughs> a nine is well, the worst score you can give a, show, a series. Exactly, exactly. I just right, haven't right, gotten right, to right. it yet. An eight would be it's, better. It's Schrodinger's no, it asshole. Really wouldn't. Actually. Am I an asshole really and I give it a, be... not a ten, or am I an asshole and I give it a nine? It really wouldn't be better if you gave it an eight. But like, Kimi Todoke is so fucking good because, again, when you when you look at it, it's the what the what manga character doesn't think highly of themselves, being encouraged by others to think that they're better than they actually are, We're learning about the future and evolving beyond the person that they are before. This is a fucking manga about friendship fucking friendship constantly good fucking people look it's a what the what manga but it is also a vindy manga (laughs) maybe not as vindy as it is what the what but like there's a stupid delinquent girl who not delinquent girl but you know know, know she's who's trying her best she's trying her best (laughs) she's so stupid i love her um (laughs) she just wants to support her friends (laughs) she's just also stupid (laughs) me too god the, the title of the manga is called Reaching You, or From Me to You, and it's about reaching out to the people that you care about and making them understand you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a 10 for a while. You just only finished it recently, right? Um, yeah, because, like, literally, this would be me. I'd read one chapter and go... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, try, like, I'm Sawako's great. Uh, the cast is great. Uh, She's so good. You're the great. Romances are, you know, it, it's a good fucking manga. Good manga. Good manga. Oh, um, it isn't moving above the top three, though, because, you know, the ending is really good. But for some reason, I want more. Maybe that's me being like crying because <laughs> I want these characters back. I want them being friends and interacting. But the journey must end. The journey must end. Um, Below that's a manga I need to reread called spirit circle um i remember re- i read that in high school i think no yeah there's and... a few manga you have as a favorites that are like i think yamada kuda the seven witches or boku girl they're no, ones no. you weighed read, read a while ago right um uh, yamada kun moved uh, it was something i read like two or three years ago and that okay. moved down it's not my it's not my top 10 anymore okay um i have like only i have six tens in my manga top 10 okay um spirit circle is really good it deals with a lot, like, you know, the whole thing is, like, uh, reincarnation. Going through each reincarnation ma- manga, and it's going through all their different lives. And, you know, it's about self-realization, and he realizes what he has to do, and he chooses love. It's good. 
good, chooses love, chooses friendship, chooses bonds, Naruto, you know, all that good shit. Um, after that is The World God Only Knows, good which I definitely manga. want to reread. When me and yeah, Vindy eventually... Yeah, I it. It pretty good. Um, when me and Vindy go on our fucking crusade for the glory of fucking harem series, I'm going to reread The World well, God I Only Knows. I read it last year, so I don't want to do that one, like, first. Um, I'm I glad I reread it because I actually caught up to that one before it ended, or I think, or very shortly after it ended. Uh... But uh, around, no, I, I think I no, I did catch up with it. Yeah, before, I read, like, I read the it last, last arc. year, and I mean, I really like it. But the I read last it, arc's yeah. phenomenal, though. It, it's good. It's very good. Uh, yeah. God, dude, imagine, imagine being Kama and being like, just so above all of us mentally, and being like, <laughs> kind of. I respect these women, and I do not pick the idealized. I pick the Don't one who's right it. for me. I said I pick the one that's right for me. Okay, man. Excuse me. Just saying. I'll, I'll fucking snap your fucking old bones, right? Uh, so uh, yeah, um, it's it's a similar thing with like movies for me, I guess. I only mentioned like three, or actually I'll mention two, because they're evident of a lot of things. It's um, Into the Spider Verse, Pog, and Creed Two. Okay. Those two kind of like hop around as number one of my non anime films, so like. That's another thing I do on my mouth. I don't include my an- the anime films because then I have it's like killing, picking which child to kill, right? <laughs> it's like which one do I put on this fucking top ten list? Which one do I don't? Does does Wolf Children go above or below the fucking like ReZero or fucking Kaon? Who do I have to murder in order to allow one to live, right? And it makes me feel sad, feel very bad about myself. But yeah, that's. I have I guess so many about, favorite movies I need to rewatch. Um, if I think about it and it ruins me as a person, that shit's a ten. That's all it requires from me. Or it's Fast and the Furious and Invented Cinema, but that's besides the point. <laughs> no, I, yeah, did I, I have oh, some other? Or, I uh, I watched Fast One today. I watched with my little brother. Oh, so I'm back to watching them all, but I'm restarting. Oh yeah, dude. What did you think about Fast, the Fast and the Furious? Well, that might. How about? Maybe Vindy will talk about it on his weekly wrap up. Yeah, it's maybe I will. Right. Maybe, maybe I will. will. Yeah, Crabstorp, you're right. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh-huh, maybe. But anyway, like, see, and I guess so. Those are what all of our tens are pretty, for mostly anime and manga. Um, and you know, so like, and maybe you know, those will change or we'll get more or you know, feelings are weighing on some of them. Um, you know, I'm trying to not to do that. Like, you know, obviously feelings change over time and it is kind of sad to have to take one of your favorites out in the back and shoot it with the nine out of 10 gun. Yeah. Um, you know, because I'm like, lucky, it, you know, it, 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 <laughs> right. right. Um, you know, and like, I actually, like, I have other things. If you go on my mouth, I have other things rated 10 that I didn't mention. Uh, I just need to reread them and decide if they're actually going to be a 10 after, like, I know two are a uh, Pluto and 20th century boys. Where, like, 20th Century Boys, when I read it, I was like, do I like this manga more than One Piece? Uh, it was, like, 2010 or 2009 when I read that. And, like, so, you know, I hadn't read nearly as much as I have now. Um, you know, but that's just, like, how much I liked it back when I first read it. And now I'm like, I don't know if I feel that way anymore. Um, so I need to reread it, right? So, uh, Boku no No is another manga I know I need to reread. Uh, I can't think of any more manga anyway right now. But it's like, yeah, uh. I'll figure it out as I rewatch and reread more, but uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. What else do we have to say on the topic? Uh, I think it's interesting how uh, a lot of us share tens. If none was here, I think there would be even more intermingled like like tens that are mm-hmm. shared because then like Naruto no, would be yeah, shared. No, he and, likes, and, yeah, and like obviously, uh, a lot of things that some of us think are tens that others don't. Like for example, famously, um, I have good Tom at a ten. Craft Store thinks it's <laughs> maybe a negative ten. Um, despises it. But yeah. when what watches it, as we it know, tens, so it's okay. negative ten is equal to seven. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But That's what will works. watch it, and he'll give it a ten. So then there's peace in the world, you know. Right. Yeah. Exactly. All will be balanced. Crashdorf would be wrong again. Okay. <laughs> uh, Crashdorf is wrong or like, a lot. You know, a lot of things that one of us has a ten. Like for Gurren Logan, I have it in a nine. It's really close to a ten. I like it a lot. You know. And I have it as an eight. Uh, or uh, K-On, right. you have Kill it at yourself. 9. Sun Gatsu, we both have it at 10s. I'm sure Wet has it at a high 9. I couldn't see anything less. It's a 9, I think. Yeah. Um, I have One Piece as a 10, uh, and you guys have it at an 8. I have it at a 9. <laughs> I know, I'm just being toxic because <laughs> what the What's a Piece of shit. Um, <laughs> it's one manga away from my 10s. 
Uh, one piece. Maybe one, one reread one. away from your tens. Who knows? Hey, <laughs> that was hey, slight crap really... store. I'll bump up the one piece you'll... reread just for that one. That would be really funny. <laughs> well, look, I, look. I'm just saying. I think one piece hits different on a reread because you see how all like you know you see all the references and all the like oh like like you reread the fucking bugging and shanks flashback and it's no longer some random fuck who's bopping over the head it's fucking silver's relay right oh um, like it it hits different okay um yeah his design's yeah. a little weird but like he's very much he has glasses he has the patchy striped beard it's fucking relay um right yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah, man yeah man vindy it really sucked if I admitted here on the Weave Club that I have My Hero Academia and Black Clover over One Piece. Well, I don't blame you for MHA. It is insanely good. MHA did invent um, manga. It did invent though. friendship in the last few weeks. <laughs> oh, it really did. It also invented so having Clover, a delinquent but, boyfriend know. who blows you up. Oh. That's true. MHA oh. is so gay. I'm sorry. It is. All right, Bisexual. anyway. Um... Is that this it? is by erasure, Vindy. Literally by erasure. No. It's Ochaka's Ochaka boyfriend doesn't matter. and Ochaka's boyfriend's boyfriend. That might be true. Anyway, what the what? What have you been reading or watching or playing or doing or jacking off? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's not here. He's not yeah, fucking here. <laughs> None would go uh, first. But, hey, none. What did you do this week? Like this episode, we'll bring back. Actually, like this thing, episode. Thing. If this episode doesn't get 100 likes, then Maji's not back next week. He said that. Like this episode to bring uh, in Maji back. Add to our Patreon. If we don't get a dollar before next week, then Manji doesn't come back. Yeah, you guys have to bring him back. Fault. Yeah, I'm putting in the pin comment as well to remind you. But anyway, here's the thing: if Vindy is actually going to talk about Fast and the Fast and the Furious, I need him to talk first. All right, because this is important. All right. I don't think he is. Is he? I could just go, and we could leave. We could, you know, we could see where I go with it. You know, because the thing is, if you do talk about it, then I can talk about something else because it's very important. You know, I watched Gintama the final yesterday, right? Okay, fine. Never mind. I'll talk <laughs> about the Fast and the Furious then, you fucking bitch. Because I rewatched the first three Fast and the Furious films. Um, I'll only talk about the Fast and the Furious because Vindy Vondo is here and he hates me. I'm watching so, like two and three like tomorrow with him. Uh, so the Fast and the Furious, upon rewatch, it is very, you know... You might be saying, oogity boogity, like, how did the films go from uh, VHSs to what it is now? But when you rewatch this first film, I it, there's some it, of it I in was there. Like, it's not a it's lot, but it, it, it is in there a little bit, you know? It's because it, it's like a slow, it's literally power creep. It slowly evolves. You yeah. Know? yeah. So here's the thing, right? Anyone who says the films used to be about family but aren't anymore are stupid and don't see the thematic through line that all all the films have because it's all there in the Look, Fast. Look, I have not watched any of them, but the fact that it's been a meme lately, like I like, why is that what sticks out to people about Fast and the Furious and it, like its ideas, right? Well, also um, it's like so the entire dumb. time the idea of like the family isn't actually family. It's like the group of friends that they call family because the entire point of the fucking movie is Paul Walker joining the family. And then choosing that over his He's job. his brother. He's his brother. He owes Dom a 10-second car. Oh, my God. He lives his life a quarter mile of the time. Ugh. Time. For those 10 seconds, he's free. God. Those moves are so fucking quotable, man. The buster got me out. The buster brought me back. God, great line. God. God. <laughs> or, uh... Um, you almost had me? I was just going to say... Don't matter if you win by a mile or a or an inch or a second right, or, inch a mile, or a mile, a second or, or an inch or a mile, whatever. But no, it's an inch or a mile. Yeah, if you win by an inch winning's or a mile, winning. winning's winning. God, God, man, it is really interesting seeing the like seeing the way like it starts out right, but like Brian, dude, when <laughs> when Brian comes in, and he's got like this fucking surfer boy, fucking like, dude, I almost had you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talks like this, man. But he lives in fucking East Los, right? I'm like, damn, he really did. What's also funny it's, it's because just... like, um, he's like undeniably like Paul Walker's the main character of the first like two movies. So it's funny that yeah, it, it's, it just it's, like becomes Dom. It, it, well, to me, it's funny because like when you watch, it's like, yeah, Brian is the they're make they're trying to make Brian the first main character, the first two films, but the one who sticks out is motherfucking Dom. Yeah. Right? There's even a fucking line about it where Mia says she's like. It's, Dom's like gravity 
everyone's drawn to him. And I'm like, <laughs> yo. He's a shonen know? protagonist? He is, actually. He's yeah, like, yeah, as Mihawk he, says, it's the most dangerous power in the world. Uh-huh. Listen, there might be some fucking crazy rivalry shit because the rivalry between the Dodge Charger and the Nissan Skyline will forever oh be one of God. the greatest rivalries of all time, right? Listen, do you know how fucking Kino it is that Brian hey, work, fucking hey, work, only hey, drives... Work. Get it out of your vocabulary. Kill yourself. Do you ever think about how <laughs> Brian only drives imports and Dom's all about American muscle? And that's the fucking thing that sticks between them the entire time. Always this fucking dynamic between American muscle and imports. But which one's faster? Which one gets you a quarter mile of a time? God. Uh, uh, uh. Are you okay? I told you about the fucking Na- the NOS, right? The fucking NOS. How it's it, like yeah, 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 yeah. We talked about it in the video we haven't seen. That they the haven't NOS. Seen the, which will be out. Which will be out. It will be out. I'm working on it. Is it coming out next we'll be- Monday? Perhaps. Because if not, then it won't be out by the time. Or no, it literally can't be out by the time this comes out. I know it won't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you you stupid? They have no idea what you're talking about or what I'm talking about. Well, I never know what you're talking about. But anyway, uh, (laughs) dude, um, what's really interesting in particular is that the first three Fast and the Furious films are kind of just iterations of the same thing. White guy comes in. It's an area where there's a lot of crime, drives car, and in race that happens at the beginning of the film. Something bad happens that gets him roped up into some kind of activity that involves the police. Then he meets the mentor figure, right? Um, first film, it's Dom. Um, kind of actually, no, or the mentor figure or the friend kind of thing. So, in, in the second one, is Rome, and the third one's Han. And it's just interesting to see how they kind of kept that, kept that going, and like. This is um, what's interesting that I found out is that Fast and the Furious is the most normal. Um, the Tokyo Drift is the most normal film in the entire series. It's the it's the one that's grounded the most. It's also my and favorite of the you, original trilogy for sure. Yeah, it definitely is, dude. Fucking DK, DK, man. I love Han. Oh, DK, dude. When Han came on, me and my sister were fucking clapping. We we're like, there he fucking is. Uh, dude, Tony Jaa, Tony Jaa in the first film though, man. Listen, man, SWAT came up in my house, disrespected my whole family because somebody knocked me out, all right? Fucking, the fucking plot with the fucking, the, the bamboozle pulls you with, with the fucking, with the fucking Honda Civics, man. Fucking, the death of Jesse, man. Oh, so much fucking good shit. Ah, it is, it just, it is funny seeing, like, how... All the films back then really liked fucking motion blur on those cars. Like, almost too much, where it's just any time the cars even move, there was this fucking digital motion blur on them. And I was like, oh, the 90s were a wild time. They're very, they're very crazy. Another thing that you'll notice about the Fast and the Furious films early on is that they're very much influenced by whatever was happening at the time. So, if you watch the... like. Fucking the Fast and the Furious. I um I've been told to go back and watch Point Break because it's very much a similar kind of thing. Um, and you get to Tokyo Drift. It's revolving around like fucking sp- high school students and shit, which haha funny anime. But also like because what was popular around that time, shit like Bring It On or fucking like uh. You know, those kind of, like, teen high school movies, right? Yeah. And, well, and what was the, you know, the recent one had, uh, you know, what, as you apparently said, Black Superman? Um, Hobbs and Shaw had Black Superman. Yeah, right, which is, like, what that, what was really popular at the time that movie came out. MCU, right? So let's have a literal MCU actor but be also, an, a superhero, or supervillain, rather. Um, a spy thriller has been a lot of thing that's in, influenced what, into this, uh, Fast and Furious, which is, a, which is an evolution of of the heist film which is an evolution of the crime thriller right Mm -hmm. so like that's how these all evolve right it's evolution and anybody who says these films have gone too far you know you don't live your life a quarter mile at a time right that's all i gotta say i'm rewatching all the films so that i can experience the best cinematic experience of all time well let vindy talk because he disagrees or something because he likes kintama or something right whatever so a rip friggin' Tom of the Final came out. 
and uh, we watched it in Vinmanji. We group watched it. Um, it's so fucking good. Oh my god! Like holy shit! Look, anyone who like has read like, oh, dude, Silver Soul is such a fucking good arc. It's the best fucking arc. Period. I don't care what you say. It's the arc that's like the most Gintama, while also like being just fucking awesome and having like the best fucking shit in the manga. Some of the best lines, some of the best moments in the anime. Oh my god, the final is. It has four different scenes with insert songs that are all animated fucking awesomely. Four different insert songs, three of them by Does. I'm sorry. Hello, who do you think you are? You can't do that. Like it's so fucking good. It's so clear of everything else. Um, it, 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 it's so good. I'm so glad to see the end of the story. The story ends fucking perfectly. Oh my God. I can't think of a series like, like Gintama that I think ends like as perfectly as that fucking manga ends. Like the fucking, like, cause I've seen the last the page. Anime. Both. Oh, you've seen the last page. Both, okay. both, 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 both. Cause I know it like, okay. cause the ending is the same, right? It's the same like exact like shot that ends on, right? The, them, them running. Yeah, I know the page. I don't think there's a more perfect way to end that series and just kind of tell you that, like, it's... God! Oh, my God. It fucking... That page even just ties, like, a lot of the fucking, like, thematic things going into that last arc about, like, Gintoki's place with um, him trying to determine between, like, his past and his future and um, who he was and who he he's become um, and, and, like, what made him that way and who made him that way. Um... And the relationships he has, oh my god, and they all tie so perfectly. And they, like, tie into that last fucking page. And just fucking, it's so good. It's so fucking good. I fucking love it. Um, it's still also so funny. Uh, it, they, they also, it started as, like, this massive, like, Dragon Ball parody that was, like, a recap of, like, what had happened before. But they had Chala Headchala and, like, Dragon Ball OST music going on in the background. So, like, it literally just feels like Dragon Ball. It's fucking insanity. I don't know how they got away with that. Uh, must have paid <laughs> out their ass for licensing to have fucking Chala Hedgehala in the fucking movie. Uh, like, the full fucking no, song. No, yeah, it's weird, because, like, usually parodies have to, like, r- rub out ser- rub out the, the serial numbers, but for some reason, like, the Gintama movies, like, the, the one that had the literal volumes of Naruto and Bleach uh, in the, um, remember? With mm-hmm. the gag, like, this, uh, we wanted a, a samurai manga like these, and it's like, those aren't even fucking samurai manga! <laughs> um, like, you remember the joke, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I was right yeah right. like, um, but yeah, they didn't. Do, it wasn't like you know, Bl- Bratch or uh, Boruto or like you know, they didn't like change it. It was literally just Naruto and Bleach. No, no, um, it, it right? literally. So. Well, then I mean, I'm sure you've seen the the One Piece thing as well, right? Where like it has like Luffy or Gintoki looks like Luffy and stuff. I've seen that one picture. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like it literally is just like fucking insane. Like because like I never expected like because they started it with a Dragon Ball thing and it was funny, and then it literally just fucking plays Chala Hedgehla. While it gives a re- a recap of the series of like the arc well, up to that I point, I guess to add, like this when when those kind of parodies happen in the TV anime, is it does it like rub off the serial numbers or like I know it does with Gundam? But, yeah, 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 uh, it, no, does, it, it does, it does, it does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, sometimes that's, it'll that's it's, was... Gundam's the one that it'll show the Gundams, um, but a lot of the other times, like for the jump stuff, uh, they'll say like the names of it, but a lot of the like they won't show the characters. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of times though, it's very fucking clear what you're looking at right uh but yeah it's not always like completely like you know yeah so that but the movies do do that like they don't yeah okay that's what's a little okay anyway keep going um and like it still had like the perfect amount of like even in the serious arc moment like the comedy like that's my one problem with like uh shogun uh, sa and fs uh is that like i i just sometimes i think the um like they almost get too serious and like i want more jokes because that's part of what i love about gintama is that i think it's funny and so silver soul had more of those jokes in it and especially the final had some it didn't have as many because it is focused a lot on the serious stuff but then thankfully with the way that the 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 last chapter gets adapted um and so like there's still enough of what i want it felt like the perfect send-off to the series where like I'm, i'm depressed that there's no more gintama for me to watch but i'm also so happy with the way the series ended and like I feel content with it, so I'm not even, like, that upset. Or, like, I like I didn't cry a lot at the ending. I cried a lot at all the other shit that happened in the movie that was so fucking good. Um, I was re-watching scenes from it earlier today, actually. Like, I rewatched half the goddamn movie just in different moments. 
Uh, I'm probably going to rewatch it either another time this week or I'm going to rewatch it when Blu-rays come out uh, within the next uh, like month. Uh, Blu-ray rips will come out and then I'll watch the Blu-ray. Uh, I'm going to see it in theaters later this year. Like, I, It's so fucking good. Unbelievably good. I love Gintama. Uh, it's my top one anime now. Um, the music is bangers. I mean, three does songs and a spy air song. Like, how do you beat that? It's unbeatable, actually. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about Gintama. Goat Tama, some would say. Neat. I, I will not say anything about Gintama because I already did a podcast about that and it was very sad. Well, like, uh, I guess just because, oh, like, I meme about Gintama and hating it um, because I think it's funny, right? Like, it's the same kind of thing with the Toku. Right. Um, but, like, you know, I do legitimately like a lot, like, quite a bit of it, and I found it amusing. It's just, like, the parts that when I don't like it, it very much, like, I just right. get, like, super apathetic. Like, and it's, I, like, I could see the uh, jokes. Like, like I could see, like, if there are certain jokes that you don't like, especially the jokes that go on for a long time. Like, mm-hmm. uh, for example, I assume a part you didn't like, right? I just watching this, I was like, this is the part Crafts didn't like of Silver Soul. <laughs> is when um uh he's like on the conveyor belt and he's like going around mm-hmm. the conveyor belt and there's like the stuff going on, and that joke takes up like half an anime episode. So I was mm-hmm. like, Oh yeah, Craftsdorf hated no, this. No, I'm pretty sure I was like Yeah, well and and the fact that the thing with Silver Soul is because like it is so perfect for Gintama because yeah, it, it does like the serious arcs for like three full arcs and then like most of Silver Soul. And but then that it was still probably, has like the the Hidoro stuff and everything. Yeah, it's no, it still has comedy in there for sure. But it's not the same as like when the second part of the the, the second part of Silver Soul, where it's literally like it just goes back to being normal Gintama for a good few chapters, and then like right. you said, even at the end of the movie, it goes back to being normal Gintama. And like so, yeah. So if you you know, where for me the uh, the comedy was very much was like, eh, this is fine. Um, for most of it, then like after having so much like of Gintama that I like legitimately like enjoyed. Like, Silver Soul, the reason it's not my clear top arc is because, like, I just, after reading so much of Gintama and it just goes back to being Gintama after I was, like, free of the shackles for, like, over, you know, 200 <laughs> chapters. Yeah. Um, I just, like, it just kind of, like, stabbed any remaining interest I had. Because I was into, if you have listened to the second to last episode, I was like, I want to see how this ends. And then you go to the last episode and me and Mathis are just dead because we were just, like, so burnt out on Gintama and we were never really, like, loved it. And like, you know, even, even the fact that I give it a seven is a hot take. If you look on Mal, okay. Like fucking less than like five, 10, 5% of the people who've rated it on Mal have given it less a seven. Right. Um, yeah. Like like, it's very loved. At least in the West, it's extremely loved. Right. Um, so it's, you know, maybe it's a series that I can come back to. And eventually when I, if I read, reread it at my own pace or something, but that's probably not going to be for a good Uh, long while. Why can't you Um, watch it at your own pace, Craftstorf? Yeah. Um, the well, season one, to. the season one content is just so clear of the of the manga. It's not even close. Oh <laughs> my god, I I tried, <laughs> I dropped it after one episode a day for like over a month. And no. anyway, um, but yeah, so I just wanted to be clear on my thoughts on Gintama, just because it's like it's sad. I like I wish I could like it more. And um, you know, White sent me some interesting um stuff that I didn't notice, and I was like, oh, that's cool um you know so it's not like there's not it, like and there were even parts in the discussion where i think we like i had good stuff to pick up like we noticed and picked up on it like it's not like we didn't get gintama it's just like very much not for us just the gintama uh, didn't more, get me. more so not for math was than for me um <laughs> she never rated it uh but like you know she's she, I, she's kind of yeah anyway um but uh yeah it, it's yeah i i do i still think it's good i just don't like love it uh so yeah um Anyway. Hold on. Mindy, I just want to tell you real quick. I am indeed reading fucking Gintama. No! Do not read it! I'm reading it just for you. What do you mean? I'm reading it just for you. I mean, if you read it, I'm not watching Toe. Okay. That's uh, the fun. I, I love that running joke, by the way. Like, it's so toxic and terrible, but it's funny. Um, I mean, a Gravity Boy, like, a Gravity Boy is, is, like, closer to, like, trying to be Gintama than Roboco is, even though, like, I don't think it nailed, like, succeeds at all. Like, you know what I mean, Vinny? Because yeah, a Gravity yeah, yeah, Boy yeah, yeah, tried because... to be serious, well, but it, ne- it never committed. It what? never really committed to being serious and I having dramatic moments. On top of that, it's like, Roboco feels oh like God. a lot of its jokes are just jump references. 
And um, I feel like Gintama like, has its jump, jump, jump references. Right. But a lot of Gintama's <laughs> comedy comes much more from outside those jump references. And being a yeah. lot of like jokes specifically about like the characters themselves. And how fucking right. insane as they funny are. like as funny as it is to just call Robo Gintama, like it's definitely not accurate. Um. God, I'm looking at the Mal characters page right now. There's only three characters. You want to know what they are? Robo Gachi Gorilla and the main guy. <laughs> Gachi Gorilla is first. In favorites, yeah. <laughs> of course. Because his fucking it's... bullshit. He his propaganda has convinced everyone. Everyone knows <laughs> Space Jam too. Okay, and they saw. That this motherfucker, uh, Don Cheadle, was the bad guy because it's gachi gorilla propaganda. Unlucky, I think. Right, it so is anyway, unlucky. yesterday, uh, something dropped on Jump Plus. And so basically, a while ago, uh, Fujimoto, the author of Chainsaw Man, finished. Uh, oh, part you're one of Chainsaw talking Man. about it. Let's go. Uh, and then, so, but more recently, he did a one shot called Look Back. So, oh. in 24 hours, this one shot got over 3 million views on the Jump Plus app. Uh, it is already the top rated one shot on Mal. It is the only thing in the top five that is not connected to another bigger work or franchise. Um, it, it came out yesterday. It fucking came out yesterday, okay? Um, like, not even. It is um, right now ranked 103 in all manga on Mal. Like, and here's the thing is I think it's deserved because I was fucking it's crying. Deserved. No, I was sobbing, dude. Oh I was my. Okay. Oh, like you read baby. it. Oh shit. Okay. I did That's read it. That's why he said, let's saying. go. Okay. Yeah. So. You hate uh, me. Well, no, I was going to say it's like, you know, it's. No, I even thought, like, it's about art and creativity, right? So, like, that's uh, w- w- one thing what you click with a lot. Like, I'm not going to say it's a what the what manga, but it's really. Ooh. <laughs> Um, like that's the thing it's a one shot so I can go just uh, like even if you haven't read Chainsaw Man it's the same author um, but you can just like read it right like it, it's yeah, not it's, it's just a one shot um, and it, I'd say it's my favorite one shot with my second one um, being uh, Tokidoki which was by Komi Naoshi. god you're so smart yeah Crossword. they're that so fu- these are like they're just one shots but they make me fucking cry um, yeah and like uh, so yeah basically the premise is that there's um, an art you know uh, a school newspaper for these elementary school kids and uh, the, a third grader draws these four comma manga that everyone in the class thinks is funny um, but then it's, it's a fucking diary it's oh my god it's the fucking diary whippy kid thing with Zooey mama is what the fucking beginning of this fucking <laughs> one shot is but then um, some other four comma manga from a student who doesn't even go to the school because they're kind of like a uh, hikikomori type like that you know even though they're in third grade um and it's really just this phenomenal scenery um like there's no plot or characters it's just these um just connect- backgrounds. these connected backgrounds with maybe some idea or stuff like that and it like it's like professional art and it makes the the main artist who's doing these little soupy Which gags like shit. um very like self-conscious and self-doubt and they like um you know first they try to improve to try and beat them and then they kind of maybe want to give up um and then they eventually meet this person and it just like it just accomplishes so much in like less than a volume of uh pages like it's still like 150 100 150 pages it's pretty decently long all things considered um and it goes to some wild places and it just fucking hurts it it hurts <laughs> um like i did it ruins a man oh my god um yeah like it's hard to talk about like you know i don't want to spoil it and it's just like you you can go read it right now and finish it in like you know 10 15 minutes um give or take like it, it's not that long like it's a volume it's maybe a little sort longer, of like it's, um not time loopy it's more like it gets a little weird I, 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 in a good way like that uh, <laughs> but basically it's friendship as well uh, yeah and between artists uh, because here's the thing a writer and a character writer and a character designer is nothing without their background artist okay they're nothing without their background uh, artists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um I Dude Craftsworth, <sighs> you could even say that she's her world, man. You know <laughs> <laughs> No, Fujimoto, like uh, Chainsaw Man is really good and I like it. Um I haven't read Fire Punch yet, uh, but now like having like now that see now it's not just Chainsaw Man. Now there's two works that I like from this author. Uh so I'm like I gotta read Fire Punch and I've been give it give Chainsaw Man two to me. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I want Chainsaw Man Weekly again. <laughs> um, cause, uh, yeah, but like this was really good and I definitely recommend, even if you haven't read anything by the author, because it's just, uh, really effective. 
at uh you know just it's just that powerful uh, it, crazy how it invented manga <laughs> no yeah it was, actually you know <laughs> it kind of does it kind of does um but yeah no like it, it's really interesting it, it's you know very emotional um highly recommended uh definitely look back is it's it's on the you can read it for free right now for like a couple weeks it's on just look up the shonen jump um on the official website and it should be there. Just look, uh, chapter one, one shot that released on the 18th of July. Uh, go read it. It should be free. Do so. Just um, two girls being homies, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's a look back. <laughs> Vindy would hate it because it stars women. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm glad. Thank you. You know me right, so um, well, cutie. So yeah, uh, this is the, the Manji, shortest uh, yeah. weekly, maybe ever. Uh, and it's because well, here's the reason why without none we don't talk as much. What is that? I mean, mean there's just one less person talking. Like hey, none didn't go over oh, his Jesus. favorites. None didn't go over what he's been watching or reading lately. So yeah, we we didn't get the classic. Yeah, I don't know if it's fair um, to say none of us you know, talk because uh, you, you know, know we did record uh, for an hour and forty minutes. You know. Like yeah, like that is. But here's actually, thing, it's right? literally like as long as a bunch of other ones. Vindy, I was going to use this opportunity to blackmail the fans to give us money and likes. Okay. So fucking Numanji back. Yeah, get none back. Give us money. Dang, I'm sorry. Numanji, when you're editing this, I want you to record yourself crying and like as with sad yeah. music. Show me your face. Say, Be naked. Honestly, no, just send me naked that, pictures though. when you edit this. That's all so I don't do. Don't do that. Uh, put on the screen right now a picture of our Patreon. Um, and then put on the text on this page that says, all right, you guys are being uh, toxic to none. Money, uh, thank you, none for editing this e episode. Thank you viewers for listening to this episode. Uh, if you want none back, like, and give us money. He's coming back either way. Shut the fuck up. You idiot. No, 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 no. None mind you erase that. <laughs> all right. Thank you. And goodbye. Adios, muchachos. Bye. <sighs>